Hi, in this video, we'll talk about Modal Context Protocol and how you can start using with the Cloud Desktop application. We'll go through the basic of what Modal Context Protocol is and how you can start using it in the Cloud Desktop app. So first, let us understand what Modal Context Protocol is. With these, all the fancy jargons, you don't have to be afraid. It is simple, okay? I'll try to make it as simple as possible. So Modal Context Protocol is a way to connect your data source with LLMs. So we have host or client first, then we have LLMs, then we have the data source, then we have the actual MCP server, which means uh, MCP. Host or client is something that we'll be using to do all of these actions. In our case today, it will be cloud desktop application or it can be any other applications as well, such as Cursor or Windsoft. In this video, we'll only talk about the setup with the cloud desktop app. So our host or client is cloud desktop app. Then we have LLMs. LLMs are what are responsible for giving us answers. When you ask a question to the AI, it responds back and the job is done by the large language model. And these large language models are trained on a specific data. So they will lack a lot of data. They don't have the latest data or some new information or something that is more personalized. So this MCP server acts as a glue between your data source and the LLM so that you can provide better context to the LLM so that it responds better. So that you can give it access to your local files, you can give it access to your uh, local documents or uh, give access to browsing use, APIs or many things. You can imagine unlimited possibilities with it. And MCP is not something new. It was also possible to do previously with function calling or something like that. But it is a standardized way to create integrations more faster and easier to use. Now let us try to set up an MCP server with cloud desktop application. For this, you will need to have a cloud desktop app installed. Then you will need to have an account. I already have a cloud desktop application. So I'll just open cloud desktop app. Hey, if you are into vibe boarding, you can check out the voice to text application called as Voice Inc. It's a one time payment for $19 and is available for all macOS devices. While Whisper Flow and Super Whisper are charging $8 to $15 per month, Voice Inc. is a one time payment of $19. Here we have a cloud desktop app running with an account. Now we do not have any modal context protocol installed. To install a modal context protocol, you will need to create a new file in the application support folder inside the cloud folder. Uh, I'll first try it with the Brave Search MCP. I'll search Brave Search Modal Context Protocol. And if you go to this Modal Context Protocol, this is by cloud itself. You will find tons of MCP servers over here. I'll go to servers. And if you scroll down, you can see these are all the MCP servers in the Modal Context Protocol, but there are also a lot of open source MCP or you can also build them yourself. So we'll search for Brave here and use the Brave search. Go down and you'll need to copy this text file. You will also need the API key. For that, you can just go to Brave search API and you can log into this account. You will get 2000 free queries per month and one query per second. So 2000 queries per month is free. But if you want more, you'll need to subscribe to the plan. So I'll just close it. I already have the API key. So you'll first need to copy this, okay? Now you'll need to go to the application support folder. I will just show it for macOS. You will need to do it similarly for Windows as well. So you'll need to go to your user directory. You'll need to go to library folder, then application support. And over here, you'll need to uh, figure out cloud, okay? Find cloud and here we have cloud. Click on it. Over here, you'll need to create a new file called as cloud desktop config.json. So I'll just create a new file using a sublime text editor you can use anything over here okay so i'll just create a new one here and i'll paste it here the mcp server and here you will need to edit the brave api key placeholder and add your own api key perfect you need to save this file inside this application support folder you can see i already have it here go to your user directory then library from their application support then cloud and inside cloud the name of this file should be cloud desktop config.json click on save and we have it here okay now you will need to relaunch the cloud desktop app so i'll just go over here currently you can see we do not have anything that anything over here so i'll just ask it a question by default cloud do not have a browser access but still i'll ask it a question Okay. Hey, can you create a chart for the past 24 hours of uh, Bitcoin price? 
and let's see what result we get. And the application that I'm using right now is called as VoiceSync. You can check it out. It's a voice to text application similar to Super Whisper and Whisperflow with one time payment of $19. And you can see here, it is creating the sprite chart, but it does not have any data. Because you can see here, it is saying, my knowledge cutoff is 2024 October. Okay, uh, we want the latest data. This is not the data that we want. So, because we already have added Brave sorts, and it was not showing over here because we need to do a restart of the cloud desktop application. So, I'll just relaunch the cloud desktop application and you will see a hammer icon over here. We have two MCP tools available, Brave Local Source and Brave Web Source. Okay. Now, you can ask the same thing. Hey, can you create a, a Bitcoin chart for the past 24 hours using the prices? So, you can see here, it is asking me to give permissions to the Brave Source Model Context Protocol. You can click here to see what it will do. It is asking to query Bitcoin price chart 24 hours, past 24 hours. I'll need to click once and now it will query this data by using Brave Source Model Context Protocol. And you can see here it also got the date right. It will query the data from Mars 9 because clay is Mars 10. So we'll see a bright chart for Bitcoin in the past 24 years. And here you can see the bright chart of Bitcoin in the past 24 hours. It went from 85k to 80k and it is going up right now. So this is how we added the source functionality to cloud desktop application. Now it will be able to access the web results as well. It will not say my knowledge is cut off in October 2024 because it actually has access to the data by using Brave Source. There is another really good way to install MCP servers that is by using a MCP installer and it makes it much easier to install MCP servers. So you just need to search for MCP installer in Google and you have this here. MCP server and this is what you need to add. I'll just copy it and we'll need to go to the same thing here cloud desktop config.json and here we have paste it here MCP server, MCP installer and command npx and this MCP installer. Click on save. Now we'll need to do a reload of cloud desktop application again for the changes to reflect. Now these two Brave Local Source and Brave Web Source will be removed because we actually removed it from the uh, config file. So I'll just go through Cloud Desktop app again and we'll only have one thing over here. Okay, we didn't even have it. Let's try to reinstall it. Okay, we have it here. Install local MCP server and install a repo MCP server. Now instead of you trying to edit the files every time that you want to install an MCP server, it will do it automatically. You just need to tell the AI what MCP server you want to install and it will do it automatically. Uh, let's go to some of the list for MCP server over here. Uh, let's go to awesome MCP server. Okay, and we'll select a one of the MCP server from here. Let's say we source for YouTube. Okay. So you just need to copy this. Okay. Now go to Cloud Desktop app and tell it to hey, I want you to install this MCP server and paste the repo text that we copied previously. And it will ask the permission again. You can see here it is asking to allow the tool MCP installer to install this. I'll click on once. And you can see here, it has successfully installed the YouTube transcript MCP server. Now, for the changes to take effect, you will again need to restart the application. Uh, if you go to cloud desktop config.json file, you will see it. There are changes. A new MCP server is added over here. So, I guess you understand this is an easier way to uh, install new MCPs. I think you can also tell it to remove it. I don't know if this is possible or not, but Hey, I want you to remove this MCP server. I'm not 100% sure this will work or not, but okay. We need to manually remove it from our system. Okay, this is actually not available. The remove function is not available. So I'll just restart the application cloud desktop app and we'll be using the new MCP server, YouTube transcript to generate some summaries from YouTube videos. Okay. Okay, let's try to source for YouTube video.
let's copy the link from this 100x engineer youtube channel copy the link and we'll run the cloud desktop app again and you will see there okay still we do not have the mcp tools available okay we have it the gate transcript mcp is here hey can you give me a summary of this youtube video in under 200 words critically analyze the video and tell me the main points in a list format okay let's see what we get now it will uh, definitely try to call that mcp server and get the transcript you can see here it is asking for permission to run the mcp server youtube transcript i'll click on allow once and we'll get the transcript the transcript will be fed to the llm and then we'll get the response so this is the exact way how mcp server work they try to link your personal data your database your api keys or your local system files to llm so that they have a greater context so that they understand what you need to do or how you need to do certain things so they have better accuracy and they are more better so you can see here this is the summary of from the youtube video from idea to app in 30 minutes you can see so it has written four points problem and solution traditional versus ai assisted development four step development process and tools used lovable.dev supervise open ai api i guess you got the good idea of what mcp is how mcp works and how you can use mcp to make your work for much better so this was just with the cloud desktop app in the future video i will make a setup with the cursor application so that you can take uh, your coding to next level this is all for this video i hope you enjoy it you have a great time bye